What's up everybody, Daddy Nunek here with another video, and today we're back here in Subnautica for whatever episode this is, and today I think I want to work on our upgrade modules for the Seamoth, because we lost our Seamoth last time. But uh, without further ado, immediately let's go and craft the MK2 module, then we'll have to craft MK3. Um, but we're close. We just need three rubies, I believe. I believe that's the only thing we do not have, unfortunately, is three rubies. And um, another thing, I, I wanted to say something about uh, Wednesday's uh, videos. Um, the Force series is going to be a bit of a weird one. I'm not going to finish the game per se. I'm going to finish the series. Uh, this week's episode might be the last because I believe the Force game is coming out next week. The second one. So this week's episode may be the last depending uh, if it gets to pay the game this close. Uh, I would be very surprised and all that. But, you know, be expecting that. I'll talk more about it though on that video, uh, tomorrow's video. But as of right now, I just want to let y'all know that's what I'm thinking because I've done beat the game. I already understand the story. I've played it both ways. I've built all the items in the game. I mean, not on camera, of course, but I know last episode we had a, a long time lapse and all that. I mean, just building and, uh, yeah, maybe the, uh, I heard the building of the new game is going to be way cool, way better, and I'm ready to check it out with you guys for my first look at the new game. But uh, I, I think as of right now, it's supposedly going to come out next Wednesday. Um, I'm not too sure, though. I'll have to check more into that, but I'm just going to keep posting the first game until the second game comes out. And when the second game drops, I will release a video on it. Of course, you know. But uh, let's go check out this uh, life pod here. Um, yeah, it's only about 900 meters away. But um, I've been. I don't, I just want to talk to you guys about random stuff, I guess, while I'm doing this. So, uh, you know, The Last of Us show's been on for a while. I talked about it a couple episodes ago, and I gotta say, all, so far, what is this? Is this what I think it is? Yeah, Cyclops Hole Fragment. Very impressed with it. I've been replaying the, uh, first game, the remastered version of the first game. And I beat that game so many times that it's so fun still. I tried doing a grounded run, but ended up not being able to do it. I got to the first bloater in the game, and it just looked way too hard to do. So I'm uh, just gonna, I just restarted and I'm doing a hard gameplay uh, sort of playthrough on it. I don't know if I'll ever play the remastered on the series or the last of us on this uh, uh, channel, but you know, it's not on PC and. I really don't record on my console, but there is talk about putting the new remastered, remaster, which they're calling part one on the PC, which will be fantastic, and that'll give me an excuse to play it, of course, and I've heard like it's... It's already out on the PS5, and I've heard it's extremely well. I haven't really seen anything on it. I don't know if they've changed up the story a little bit. They can't change it up too much, due to the fact they already have a second game. Uh, I did play the second game, just not as much. To be honest, I did. It's not that I don't like it. I just didn't like it Integrating much. new ADA data. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes Warning. and we're 500 Maximum meters down. Depth reached. What do we do? Power damage we'll imminent. have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Okay, but yeah, the 
first, like the second game, I'm not, everything about it was great. I just did not like a very certain part about it, the very beginning. And I didn't like, uh, I, okay, I'll just be honest, I didn't like how they killed off Joel. You know, I don't like how they killed off Papa Joel, you know, that, that, to me that was just not a great idea, but I get why they did it. And I've dug deeper and tried to understand it more. And I've looked and I've just re sort of realized Ellie, this is going to be kind of a weird statement, got Joel killed in a way. Because the reason Joel survived 20 years um, in the apocalypse was because he had literally no one he cared about uh, enough that he would die for. Not even Te I think him and Tess, like, I don't know if they were really dating in the game or not. It's very weird. But I know Joel probably, like, he just saw them as business partners, I guess you could say. But, um, yeah, and then when Ellie came along and it kind of softened up Joel, that's what allowed him to be able to get, uh, have Abby get the jump on him. That bitch, Abby. I don't care. I don't like her. I wish Ellie would have fucking killed her. I wish Ellie would have slit her head off. Okay. I'm getting a little graphic, but I wish she would have taken a pocket knife and cut her head off. Um, so y'all pretty much get my feelings about Abby. I don't like her at all. I, I get what they did. A lot of people, like a lot of movie directors, game developers try to do that is they try to allow you to see into the enemy's life and make you sympathize on it. But to me, it just didn't work. Like with the whole Les thing, her all oh, taking Les under her wing, and I'm like, go suck a weenie. I mean, I still don't like you. I, I was literally at the end of the game, I was like, I hope when you go to bed tonight, you don't have a cold side on your pillow. That's like that's, that's how much I disliked it. But uh, and this is another thing. Like it kind of seems like they wanted to make um, Abby Joel of sorts. Like uh, she's a pretty masculine female. Uh, she got fucking muscles as big as mm, big as damn Boulder, man. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna be honest, though. them women kind of make me a little scared, not gonna lie, because I know they kick my ass, but, yeah, because, and then she took Les or Ellie under his or her wing, like, you know, you get where it's kind of, they're trying to parallel and connect them. Oh, radio broadcast, but, um, without further ado, it was a good, sh the good show, good show so far, I hope to God they take lib because so far they've taken a lot of liberties with the show or I think I'm using that word right like they they definitely changed a lot of things up they keep the same overall purpose what I'm thinking they're gonna do is season one will be the first game season two will be the second game but I just don't want them to kill off Joel in the show like I, I would pay so that they didn't have to do that I loved how they made s I'm spoiler Sam deaf in the show. I'll explain why after this broadcast. Play partially translated broadcast. Destroyed. Load. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Um, Vital the, signs no. stabilizing. The reason I like that, it's in the game. It kind of seems like Henry's a little overprotective of Sam, and Sam's a little over reliant on Henry. And Sam's like 13, Ellie's like 14, and Ellie's a hell of a lot more indiv individualist than Sam. And they gave him a reason for that in the show. He's deaf. Which, and that kind of apocalypse would not be a good thing. Not a great thing. It would definitely be complicated. And, uh, unfortunately, he ends up getting infected, like in the game. Something interesting Ellie tried to do was cut her freaking hand open and use her blood as medicine. 
how immediately I was like, that's not how that works. Just because your blood has an antibody and it doesn't mean you can transfer it. That's not how that works. You gotta do all the mechanical weird shit with the stuff through and turn it to a normal vaccine. Some people believe, though, that Joel did kind of deserve what um, he got because he killed the Fireflies, killed Abby's dad, and all that junk. But if you look, he shot Abby's dad in the head. I, even in the cutscenes, he shoots, and Abby's dad gave Joel no choice. But Abby decides to fucking take a golf club. I mean, like, what the hell is wrong with you, you psychotic bitch? I mean, you know, I wish... Oh, man. I wish Joel just got up and just, nah. Like, noped the fuck out of there with his one leg. I would have rather than made him one leg less, you know? Oh, wait, what? Like, I would have been cool with him giving him one leg, and that's why he couldn't play as him. That'd be a lot better than them killing him off. And, a, oh man, a time cap, so I don't find these too often. Water filtration suit equipped and capturing body moisture. To chemically neutralize residual odors, press the activation button in the next three seconds. Nice. You have chosen not to activate chemical taste neutralization. Thank you, and have a nice day. Why does she sound super weird? You know what, I'm going to do something. I'm going to turn my FOV. I usually play with it really high up like this. I know, I know, it's very weird. Oh my god, fishy! I do usually play with it like that, but I reset everything. But I just love how this game looks with high FOV. Like, look at that, that is beautiful. I mean, it's a bit more realistic. I'm gonna drop a save. Ah, all the thumbnails of my videos. That'll be this one's. Uh, actually, no, I don't think these are all. I think there's a couple before this one, maybe. I don't think we did that on the first episode. Oh, Ruby. Right there. Oh, two Ruby. What is that down there? Oh, is that. I think that's uh, a thing. Yep, it is what I thought it was. It is one of these puppies. It would be super cool if you could get sucked down into those things. Well, then you'd probably die, so never mind. I'm not asking for new ways to get killed. Hey, third ruby. Yeah, this video might be a bit shorter than my others, uh, just because I'm making it pretty quickly. Uh, oh, what? What are those? And why have I never, oh my god, I lost it. Oh, there's one. What are these, and why have I never seen one of them? They're like little fireflies. Get off of me! Oh my god, I hate those things. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen one of those before. How have I played this game so many times and never found one of those? Super interesting. Hey, original, come here, boy. I definitely want to set up a fish tank just for fun. I mean, why not have a fish tank? Like, give me one good reason. Like, fish tanks are just priceless. They're awesome. I was like, you can put eggs in them, and then you can have, like, cool fish and stuff. Man, look how good this... this kid, so, some people don't like the high FOV, some people prefer it, you know, standard. I definitely prefer it, um, higher, because it really makes it look, to me, more realistic. Like, this, you feel like this is what it would look like if you were inside of a sea mob. Okay, almost back to base, and then we can make this uh, third upgrade module. My allergies are killing me. Or, not allergies, really. I think it's just 
nose stuff. Yeah, I had too much nose candy. Welcome aboard, Captain. My nose candy went bad, and it burnt my nose when I huffed it, probably. Okay, let's just chill out with the nose candy. We can get the, uh, rid of this suit now. Well, actually, let's put these together, so I'll take that. Let's do it! Let's do it. I won't be forgetting about let's do it in a while. Yeah, Reginald. Come over here. Take my cook Reginald. Nom nom. I think I just, yeah, I just tried to eat that, yeah. Look how good I look, dude. Water filtration suit. So I can drink my own piss and shit. I'm pretty sure that's how the suit works, which is a very disturbing thought. Because me personally, um, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't want to eat my own crap. I think I could, if I got desperate enough, drink my own pee, which makes it worse, by the way. Unless, of course, you have a suit that filters it. Still doesn't make it less weird. Um, but... I, I don't think I could ever come to eat my own human fecal matter. Like, that's just... That's gross. Blech, which I don't like, too. I mean, who does? It bothers me. I, it does bother me a bit more than some other people, but it, it's just gross. I can deal with throw up? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, but... Mm, when you get that other end involved, that's when things get really out of hand for me. Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh my tongue! I think I, I think I accidentally uh, scraped it on a wire in my mouth, and ugh, and it hurts. Probably from all this talking I'm doing. Let's see, where shall we go? I think we should just kind of drive around for a little bit, talk about fun shit, you know. Um. So the Dead Space, I don't know how long Dead Space is, to be honest. Uh, I was looking at the achievements, and I think there was uh, an achievement for completing chapter... I know I just played this game yesterday. What what chapter did I com or complete? I think it was like uh, chapter 4 or 5 I saw. Um, but there could be more, because that game gives you an achievement for every chapter you complete, and you can look at the achievements. I, I saw how many chapters there were. So I'm not sure, I forgot the number though. It's like four or five, something like that. And from what I'm seeing, or from what I'm thinking now, um, and just seeing in general, from that, that game's really linear. It would've been cool if it was like, um, um, like, Oh, it would be cool if you didn't get to, like, the, uh, ADS cannons in time and just crashed in the freaking debris field and blew up everything. We did do that, right? I mean, we were gonna do it, and then we got distracted by finding some dead bodies. Which was bullcrap, because most of them we couldn't even access. What's that? Oh, that's, oh yeah, I see it now. It's a mod. Jesus. Uh, we have. Let's actually go check out how to make a fish tank. And see. I've always thought the sea moth didn't have enough upgrade slots because, like, you already have. You must have a depth upgrader. I kind of wish you had enough for torpedo. Oh, energy efficiency. Defense. Eh, never mind. I love the Cyclops, that's my favorite vehicle in the game, like, for sure. Um, what was I doing? Um, I've done forgotten. Oh, yeah. Builder tool. Nope. Come on, bud. Come on. I'm the eighth and a half president right now. If you understand that reference, make sure to comment. I mean, I definitely want to know... Who watches my channel and understands that reference? It's a very, uh, I guess you could say it's an older reference. That it's not that, it's not that long ago. So I need, uh, 
uh, six titanium. One, two, uh, uh, okay, um, let's go out and find some titanium. So, we just need one piece of metal to break, because we need six for it. Oh, wait, what do we need for the fish tank? Two, so six, seven, eight. So we need two metal fragments. I don't know if many people would remember this, but remember when you used to have to like right click until eventually the map would go off instead of just hitting nav? I'm so glad they changed that. That was a nice quality of life uh, change. One piece? Oh wait, and don't we need... Don't you need enameled glass? No, you just need normal glass. Thank the lords, thank you Father Zeus. Now, I might have enough quartz, possibly. I need, what, how many pieces of glass? Five, so that means I need ten quartz, so uh, I might not have that. I, mean, I guess there's only one way to find out. <sighs> we gotta make another multi-purpose room and stuff, though, too. All this for a fish tank, like, I think only I would do this much part for a fish tank. There we go. Now, quartz. Oh my god. One piece of quartz. One glass. So that means we... Let's see. We need nine or nine pieces of glass now. Wait a minute, Wait, what am I thinking? We need five pieces of glass, take one off, we need four. We need eight quartz. Oh, Jesus. Oh, right in the middle of the yawn. Eight quartz, here I come. Let's see. So one, two, Three, that ought to be four. Now we just need four more. One. Two. Or was that other one? Three. And where is it? Man, there was a bunch of quartz right here. And four. And there's still some lying around. Let's head back to the bay off. Show on the road. There we go. Now let's come here and do this. Come on. Can't build from inside, I forget. Let's just build a multi-purpose room. All right, there will be fine. Have a nice fish tank inside. Might need to build some whole uh, integrity fragment or whatever they're called. How much are those again? Oh God, I need more titanium. Check this new room out and put a fish tank over in here. Yeah, oh, you need a hatch to open it. I forgot. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up One close. Works. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. 
they may also be studying you. And I want to bring in some more titanium. So let's go out and get one quartz, which is probably right there. I see it. The one of these bad boys. So let's get one of. Uh, where is it? Come on, where are you? Come on, metal salvage. There, nope, that's a freaking stalker. Come to Papa. Oh my god. Where is the metal salvage? There is no metal salvage in this area. This is ridiculous. And they have the decency to call this a kelp forest. And you have no metal lying around anywhere. That is some jack. Is that a tooth I just saw lying on the ground? No. Nope. Because sworn I just saw a dang tooth on the ground. I was about to forgive him. Uh, nothing? I've never had one of those spawn in nothing. Yeah, nothing. Birds for everything, I guess. <laughs> Come on, where's some metal? Uh, please spawn in something. There we go. Piece of titanium. Let's see. Where she be? Oh my dear. Oh my dear. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Come on. Where's this metal salvage? I, you know what? I'm running for eight and a half president. Uh, I, I hope all of you guys will vote for me because I will be the best president in mankind. You know, you know. Man, dude, there's no metal salvage out here. That is super jank. Like, that's weird. I'm sh Oh, there we go. As I'm saying something. One piece. Now, yeah, I think that's all we really need. Oh, never mind. Two piece. Three piece. Let's head back to base. To uh, get the show on the road. Then we'll have our fish tank. I'm also going to build some hull reinforcements. Uh, just because I don't want our base starting to break apart and stuff and not be able to handle itself. Just in case. Just in case. Never Welcome know. aboard, Captain. Okay, let's get uh, breaking down. Okay, let's see, uh, I think we need, I'm gonna build two, so I think we need two. Let's put them, um, huh, why can't I put them in here? That's strange. You're usually able to put them like that, that's what I usually do. I don't want to put it there. Right there will be fine for now. And then... Right there will be fine. Okay. We're up to 26. Now we have this nice alien containment. Hey, reclaimed water. It tastes pretty jank, not gonna lie. So you know what? I'm gonna go grab uh, stuff. We need some plants to go in there, I assume. So let's grab... Is that giving us... No, that's not... What is going on? They usually give us stuff. Wait a minute, what? Oh, the game lagged. That's the wrong button, of course.
Oh my god, come on, game. What? Transfer. There we go. So I'll take four of those. Okay, I'll break one of those down. One of the, I'll break two of them down. Just to extend. I think you can plant those, you have to get the seed clusters. I remember we used to there was an uh, item in the game called a hardened blade that you had to use, or else your knife would just keep breaking. I never personally used it. it that was forever ago. I think they I don't even think they put that in the end of my finished game actually. I think they ended up just uh, scrapping it, just leaving in the heat blade. Put in one of those and one of those. Okay, booyah. Let's head outside and get ourselves some fishies. We have plants, so they'll probably enjoy it. I eventually, maybe off camera, just want to go out and find some like eggs and hatch them. But I think for now, what I'm going to do is just go around collecting normal fish. Just as like, you know, our first primary guest. So. I want to collect an assortment of fish. Yeah, where's my propulsion cannon? That will make this process so much easier. Just watch me. Look at that. Just fishes. Oh, eggs. How many slots does... Oh my Jesus, two. Four. Or eight, I mean, what? Why am I... Okay. Don't question me, please. Like I said, it's assortment. I don't want one of too many fish in that. I don't, there only be like one fucking bladder fish. No, I want at least two. Oh, man, the cuddle, f or not the cuddle fish. Oh wait, you're, yeah, I'm full of inventory. Let's go put some fishies down, plus two eggs that I found, which I know when the eggs hatch, but I will not tell y'all yet. They hatch a very unique species. Okay, let's go put all this down in the fish tank. Our ginormous fish tank here. Okay, drop, drop. Look at that, and in case we ever need fish on the go real quickly, oh yeah. Plus we have these two new creature eggs. Look at all this. Look at all these little fish. Now would be a good time to scan a lot of them. I ain't read a lot of my scanning, the logs that we've been scanning in a while. There we go. Uh, I think that's everything. Okay. Well, without further ado, I guess I'm going to end this video off here, though, guys. Since we beat our goal of uh, making a fish tank. So, yeah, I'll be ending this video off here. I will see you guys tomorrow, of course, with the forest. Actually, before we go, I'm going to let uh, this radio log play. If my character will get up. So, let's see. Okay, no audio. Gotcha. Uh, this is Life Pod Assistance, blah blah blah. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time on the Daddy No Next Show. Signal I've been... coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Thanks, PDA. I've been your host, Daddy No Next, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>